Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video we're gonna put together our tree ornament. So I have the pieces here in front of me. It's pretty straightforward. The tree is made up of three segments. There's a bottom with a little finial, and the top where you actually feed your cord or your string or uh, baker's twine or whatever it is that you're gonna be using. And we've got some little um, snow pieces here. Um, Actually, we're gonna start with the main structure. So it goes from smallest to largest, the smallest going on top. So we can go ahead and take this and just begin folding everything at the score marks. Okay. And just get everything nice and folded so that it goes together easily for us. The bottom uh, little tabs here, they're gonna be used to glue this segment to the segment beneath it. Okay, so just go ahead and just get everything nice and folded. And we'll begin stitching this one together. And it may help to kind of bend it back and forth just to kind of loosen up those fibers a little bit. Okay. And maybe fold them flat to just to ensure that you've got a really good fold. Um, the cool thing is too is this part here, there's only one thing to glue and then we have to glue these pieces together. So we're actually going to start with that. So we'll grab our glue, doesn't matter which side you start with, I'm going to start with this side. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of glue right on this piece here don't need a lot and you want to be somewhat careful with your application here I'm gonna go ahead and dab that just to thin it out and you want to line it up so that it meets at that angle you'll see here that it kind of goes like this and then in so make sure that you align this section correctly give it a few seconds to hold if you're using AC cardstock, about 10 to 15 seconds is plenty. And again, it also depends on how much glue you're using. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat that process all the way around. And then we'll close this piece up, put the top on. <clears throat> That's where our little gold piece is gonna go on. Okay, so we're just building this thing in segments and putting it all together at the end here. And we've got the little little, uh, little embellishments with the snow to kind of make it look like, you know, the tree's been outside and it's gathered a little bit of snow at the tips of each of the branch segments there. So I'm just holding that in place right next to the other one. Okay, moving on to the next tab. So we're really just gonna be doing this throughout the entire project. This is probably the, um, well, I mean, this is, this is it. This is, the, this is the assembly. This is probably the most time-consuming piece. Um, the bottom piece is actually very simple. Okay, just make sure that you get that alignment nice and precise. Don't need a lot of glue. The more glue you use, the longer it's gonna take for that glue to set. And in addition to that, the more of a chance you have of making a mess. So don't, don't be too generous with the glue. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're pretty much ready to join this together. Now, for this part here, I'm actually going to do both of these pieces at the same time. Okay, so we're going to put glue on this long tab here, get that glue out to the edge. I'm using the, the tip of the nozzle here to kind of spread that glue nice and thin. Okay, that looks good. Just tuck that under and you probably want to grab your finger or Put, get your finger underneath here 
if you can. If you can't, you should just be able to hold the left side here and apply the pressure from the right side to get that tab in place. And just make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. And just hold that in place until it fully sets. If you need to, grab like a pick-me-up tool or something and you can push from the inside to get that to adhere a little better. Okay, now this one here, this one here we might need to go in and clean up a little bit. I'm grabbing my pick-me-up tool, putting a little bit of glue on one side of it, and I'm just gonna spread that glue right underneath there. Okay. I'm going to stick my finger in here. Let's move these tabs out of the way to make it easier. And just hold that in place. Make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. And just close that shape up. Okay, so once we have this piece, uh, this top piece assembled, what we can go ahead and do is put some glue at the top. There's one tiny little tab here. Just need a little bit of glue on that and just dab tiny little bits of glue on each of these tabs. Make sure you get them out to the edge as close as you can. And then it is helpful to lift these tabs out a little bit so that as you're putting this little hexagon shape down, it catches more of that surface area. Okay, and then just push down. And you may need to kind of shimmy some things around a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so that's what your top should pretty much look like. That looks great. Now again, we're not doing anything with these just yet. These are gonna be used to connect this to the next layer. So we can move these little snow drifts out of the way. And let's begin constructing the second layer here. Okay, so just like we did the first time, let's go ahead and get everything nice and folded. Okay. Use your table as much as you can when it comes to the folding so that you don't go creasing anything. Nice flat surface will prevent that sort of thing from happening. Okay, just get all the tabs and all the scored areas nice and folded. Loosen them up. It'll help, it'll help this thing take on its shape much more effortlessly. Okay. So, what we can go ahead and do is just like we did the first time, I'm going to take these little tabs here and glue them to their neighbors. So, if you can, use your, use your nozzle to kind of flatten that glue out. Get it out to the edge if you can. And then just tuck it under and just make sure that you're getting it at the correct angle there. And just hold that in place until it dries. Okay, and it's like the more pressure you add and the harder you squeeze, the more that glue you're getting into these little nooks and crannies here in this paper. This is the AC cardstock, which is pretty much what we use primarily and almost exclusively, with the exception of some specialty papers like glitters and uh, in one of the other ornaments we used a, a white diamond paper, which is uh, just, it's kind of in between regular cardstock and glitter. It just has a nice little, um, I wouldn't call it pearlescent. I guess it's just like an like a, a embedded glitterish look. I don't know how else to explain it, but anyway. The, uh, the porous nature of the AC cardstock makes it really nice to deal with some of the smooth cardstocks don't glue as easily. Okay, so I'm just going around here, section by section, making sure that I've got everything nice and lined up, and just squeezing that between my thumb and my middle finger so that it gets a nice hold, and just moving right along. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna put together the sections first, and then we'll put all the sections, we're gonna put together the individual sections first and then assemble all three sections 
once we have those together. I, I would prefer to just give these time to dry before we start working with them and, and putting them all together into one solid piece. So it's always kind of a smart thing to do is, you know, despite the fact that it may seem that everything is set, it never hurts to give it a little additional time to make sure that it's kind of turned to stone, so to speak. Okay, so just lining that up as precisely as possible and just hold it in place until it sets. Give it a few extra seconds. Okay, and just like we did the first time when we go ahead and close this up, um, you know, actually what I'm gonna do, and this is where you probably wanna get a little tool or something to use. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bottom part first. Okay, spread that out. And let me peel these tabs back so that I can get my finger in there more easily. And I'm gonna slide that under, get that nice and lined up. Let me get my thumb under there. And let's just glue this part first. Just make sure that's nice and aligned. And just hold it and squeeze. And then what we'll do for this other section here, again, if you, uh, for what I'm about to show you, if you have a spare spatula, a razor blade, uh, actually yesterday I even, or not yesterday, in the previous video on a different ornament, I showed you how you can do this with just a standard piece of paper, which I'll show you again here. <clears throat> so I've just got um, just a sheet of cardstock here. I'm just cutting out like a little strip, just a strip like this. Okay. So we still have, where'd my tab go? There it is. This guy here still needs to be glued. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue down on a scrap piece of paper. In this case, I'm just putting it on some felt uh, ink applicator. Oops. <laughs> it really wanted to get in that glue, didn't it? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just take a little bit of glue and just put it on the paper like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it on the underside of this tab. Okay. Because you know you can't get your glue nozzle in there, but you need glue in there. And that's a good way to do it. Get something really thin and just kind of paint it on. And I'm sure you have plenty of scrap paper sitting around that you can use for just that. Okay, and your finger should be able to fit in there, no problem. And there is your second section. These tabs, we're gonna leave these alone because we're gonna use them to glue this section to the bottom section. Okay, so we've got two sections complete. <clears throat> On to the third, this one being the easiest. Okay, so still wanna go ahead and get everything folded. These tabs at the bottom here, we're gonna use to glue the bottom on with our little finial. Okay, so I'm just taking and I'm folding all of these over one time. And we're gonna go ahead and close it up just like that. So go ahead and get your glue on this tab, nice and thin. Get it right out to the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and spread that all the way out to the edge. Cleaning off the top there, just to make sure that there's no glue in that area. And what you can actually do is, you can do this flat. Get that nice and aligned. And while it's partially set, and then you can flip it onto itself so that this is the, this is the seam with the glue. And that looks nice and even. And I'm gonna go ahead and nudge that down a little bit. And that looks good. Okay, so this piece is pretty much complete. All right, we're gonna let this set as well, just for the time being. And we can go ahead and assemble, well, let's just do this real quick. This is the little uh, piece where your cord or your ribbon's gonna go through. 
Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to glue these back to back. So you want to put glue on the inside of this piece here. I'm going to dab that because I put a little bit too much glue on there. And going back to back on this, I'd probably put it flat on your table just to make sure that you've got it aligned properly. Okay, so it's going to look like that. And this, um, this gold foil, this is a Michaels gold foil. It's got a texture to it. I ran a um, gold ink pad around it because it is a white core and I wanted to hide some of that white core. So I just kind of brushed it literally with the actual ink pad all around the edges here just to make it nice solid gold. Okay, so that piece is ready. We'll let that kind of set a little bit more. Here is our little finial piece. Okay, you'll notice that these all have teeth. This one doesn't. This is our tab. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue this, this tab. We're going to put glue on this tab and glue it to the inside of this piece here. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and place your glue on this tab here. If you're using, if you're using a foil, be very patient with this process. The foil does take a little bit longer to dry. Now this does have a texture, so it may go a little bit quicker than if you were using like a mirror foil. Okay, but just do your best to, and actually, you know what, you could, you could do this flat. You don't even need to keep it dimensional. You can glue this flat. I mean, don't glue it flat. You can push it down flat to help it glue because ultimately it'll still pop back into shape. And that's just going to help ensure that we get a nice alignment and um, an efficient glue job that will definitely hold. Okay, so I'm just pushing down. And you know what, this actually set pretty quickly. Okay, so now this is the bottom of our tree. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this through and we're gonna glue these tabs to the inside so that the cone is sticking out like this. Okay, so what you wanna do is poke it through and then put it down on your table and just push down so that we've got it all the way in. So that we're totally sure that it's all the way in. And then what you can do, what I would do is I would just lift one tab at a time, just pop a little dot of glue on it and just put it back down in your surface and apply pressure to that one specific area where you added your glue. Okay. And be patient with this. It is foil going onto paper. So it may take a little bit more time to set. Okay. And then go to the opposite side, tiny little dot of glue and just push down. Again, using the table as much as possible for leverage. Okay. Next little tab, simple, easy, very sparse amount of glue there. You don't need a lot. Okay. And just going down the line here. Next one. That was that one. Okay, this one's going, this, one, this ornament's going together pretty quickly, actually. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be a little more time consuming, but actually is pretty much a breeze. Okay, no one's going to see this interior piece here, so we don't need to cover that up. That's going to be glued to the to the bottom. Okay, there we go. All right, so this piece is nice and ready to go. Looks perfect. Okay, so we can put that off to the side. Uh, at this point, everything is pretty much pre-assembled here. What we can do to give that part uh, a little extra time to dry is we can go ahead and start pre-folding some of these things. If you have a little bone folder, um, it may be a good idea to kind of use the, this little piece here is um, there's not a lot of surface area there where those score lines are. So be careful when you're folding these at the score marks that you fold them accurately. Okay. That is a pretty small area, but you shouldn't have a problem. Just make sure that you're getting it right on right on the line there. Okay. And I did ink this with a nice turquoise color. I inked it um, just at the tips at the bottom. 
I don't know, some, for some reason, I think the, the snow is colder there at the bottom. I don't know why. But I thought that looked cool. All right, so we go ahead and finish folding these. Just getting them ready while we give our other pieces some additional time to set. Okay, so that's the bottommost piece. Got that ready to go. Can do the next layer here. Again, use your table when you do this. Okay, just to make sure that you're getting a good fold right at the score marks. And maybe use your nail too to help ensure that you're creasing it correctly. Here we go. And just finish folding all of these little areas here. Now I'm not using my table on this because I'm just kind of pinching it to get it to fold properly. These little smaller areas here uh, don't really get much leverage from the table, so I'm just kind of creasing them in the air and using gravity and the force of my fingers to get those nice and folded. Okay, so that one's ready to go too. And now we've got a really tiny little piece here. Same thing though, just start by folding this end here. It's a lot easier. And then the tips here, you can just kind of crease with your fingers. This is a lot easier if you're using standard cardstock. I'm using a glitter paper. Actually, this is the white diamond paper, I think. No, nope, this is the glitter. Um, it's a little tougher because it is like 100 pound or 120 pound. So it is a little more difficult to fold this at the score mark, but it's definitely doable. Now I'm just using my little pick-me-up tool to kind of push the score marks the other way because it was folding the opposite way for me. <clears throat> okay, so that's looking good. And before you know it here, we'll be on the last leg of our assembly and have a beautiful little Christmas tree ornament ready to hang. Yeah, it really helps when you're folding this to um, just take the bottom part that's got, it's a lot heavier, you know, there's, there's more paper down there and just start folding it there and then work your way up, up and the rest of it should just kind of fold into place just like that. Okay, so that is all done. All right, we can go ahead and begin piecing this thing together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the topmost piece and just kind of point these in. We're gonna slide them in to this part here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these tabs to the inside. And I'm probably gonna to need to get an extra light here to show you this because they're kind of casting shadows on there. Okay, so I wanted to show you here. This is the top of the tree. And as I mentioned, we're gonna pop it inside of this piece here. And I'm gonna grab my little iPhone camera here or flashlight. And you see those tabs there? the tabs are gonna be glued to the walls of this part here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just get it started on this and then I'll, I'll, put the, uh, I'll put the light in there so you can see as I go through each step. I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue. You can see there's one little dot of glue there on that tab that's closest to this finger. And I'm just gonna take that and glue it to the inside of this wall here. I'm just gonna do one at a time, just making sure that everything is nicely aligned. And I'll show you here in a second what that looks like. Okay, so you can see, there you go. You can see that tab that's glued to the inner wall. You can see the, the little bit of glue that came out around it, it's fine. No one's gonna see the inside of the tree. And then I'm gonna move over to the opposite side here Okay, so this piece, this side here, okay, the opposite tab from the one that I glued. 
And I'll show you that here in a second. Let me go ahead and just put a little dot of glue right on that tab. So you can see now that side there is already glued down. The opposite side now has a little bit of glue on it. So I'm going to go ahead and push that up against the inner wall of this middle piece, making sure that I've got it nice and aligned. And I'm just going to squeeze and hold that in place until it sets. Okay, so those two tabs pretty much will hold this thing in place. But just for added support, we're going to work the rest of these tabs here. Okay, so we've got that tab glued down, we've got that tab glued down. The four that are still, that you can still see, the teeth there, um, we're going to go ahead and begin gluing those down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the next tab, just a little bit, okay? And I'm going to shimmy this, the middle of the body here a little bit over to make sure that I've got it nice and aligned. And I'm going to push that up a little bit and just hold that in place until it sets. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we've got three of the tabs glued. And I'm going to keep working on opposite sides. Okay. Put a little bit too much glue in there. It might kind of spread out. Okay, so you see that glue there on that tab. And I'm going to reach my finger in there. I'm going to push this up as much as I can. And just hold that until it sets. Okay, and I did get a little bit of glue that came out, but that's okay. It's going to dry clear, and if you don't like it, grab a little tool maybe and just scrape it, smooth it out. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next tab. There's two tabs left here. I'll show you here. Getting that glue on that tab right there, this one here. And then I'm going to reach my finger in and just hold that in place. Let that set. Okay, that went pretty quick because I didn't do a lot of glue on that one. And the last one here, just a tiny little dot of glue right there. And get my finger in there and just hold that in place until it sets. Okay, there we go. Okay, so tree is starting to come together. And at this point, we're just going to repeat the same process here. Okay, um, you can go ahead and angle these in just a little bit so that we can feed it through here. And the surface area, well, the opening on the bottom of this is a lot wider, so you should be able to see these tabs this time. All right, so just like we did when we glued that top part to the middle, I'm going to start with one side here, and I'm just going to get a little bit of glue on one of these tabs and get that glued to the inner wall of the bottom part of our tree. Try to scoot it up as much as you can so that the top of this is flush with the bottom of this angle here. And just hold that until it sets. That's going to help anchor this whole piece and set a good tone for the rest of the assembly. Make sure that you've got it nice and centered. So scooch it over if you need to. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the opposite side here and glue this tab, which is, you can see the one that's already done. I'm going to go to the opposite side here and I'm going to put glue on this tab here. Get it right out to the edge. Okay, Let's tuck that back in and Make sure you get the alignment nice and aligned and just squeeze to get that to set. And the rest of it begins to pretty much fall in place. And all we need to do is glue the remaining tabs in place. We've got our main structure and probably going to put the little snow drift things 
little snowy accents on before we put the bottom on because it'll just be easier to work with that way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put glue on that tab there and get that glued into place. Okay, and then I'm going to move over to the opposite side, which is this piece here and just get a little bit of glue on that tab there. Don't overdo it. And get that glued into place. And just squeeze those pieces between your fingers there. All right, so that just leaves two tabs. I'm gonna work on this one here. A little bit of glue. Make sure that that is up as high as it can go. This piece here. I think once you get the first few tabs in, the rest of it just sort of falls into place. So it makes makes life pretty easy. Okay, and last but not least, we have one tab left here. There it is right there. Just gonna go ahead and cover that with some glue, nice and thin. And thin that out even more. And close that up. It should go together perfectly. Looks pretty darn good to me. Okay. All right, and then we can tuck these under. Once we get our little, uh, our little snow drift thingies, in place and actually we'll put the bottom on before we put the bottom little snow drifts on but that's going to get glued on like that okay so it's going to look like that and um, you can go ahead and begin working on this section here so what i would do is and actually you know what i don't think it really matters find the side that looks the best from the front this to me looks like the best side I'm gonna use that as the forward facing side, okay? And what we're doing is we're gonna be gluing this on like this, okay? And you wanna position it so that as far as the height goes, if you go, if you go down too far, it won't align all the way around and then it won't meet. So you kind of just put it on here very loosely and scooch it around until you find that ideal spot where all of these corner pieces are in their proper spots in the corners and this little piece meets properly here um, where the two ends join. Okay, that's how you know that you've got it in the right spot. Let me find my front again. <clears throat> That's my front there. You know, what you can actually do is, as long as you get the front of it to where these, these parts here, where the score lines are, match up with the edges, you know that the rest of it's gonna go together properly. And that's gonna kinda set the tone for the rest of the project but it does help to kind of wrap it around just to make sure that you have it at the right height. Okay, so there I can tell that that is correct. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue. This is gonna be the first piece that I, I work with here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this section here in the middle. Okay, so just a, a little bit of glue right here in the middle. And then I want some glue right here where that little score line is, just to make sure that that stays in place for me. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and dab that and smooth it out because I know I put a little bit too much glue on there. <clears throat> okay, so go ahead and pop that on there. Just like that, and really quickly, just make sure that you've got it nicely aligned by making sure that 
the corner pieces sit nice and flush against the little corners there of the actual tree itself. Okay, so that looks good. That's how it should be. All right, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and peel this back a little bit. And I can go ahead at this point and put the rest of this side on. Let me get my glue up in these little nooks and crannies here. And I'm gonna grab my little pick-me-up tool and add a little bit more glue on that part there. And just wrap it around nicely. Just focus on the part where you just added your glue. Okay, and get that glued in place. It should align perfectly for you. Okay, that looks cute. And then we can peel this part back and get our glue on this part. This one, because it's so small, this is gonna be probably the most challenging uh, little piece to put on, but you can do it. And because it's so small, I'm gonna go ahead and use my pick-me-up to apply and kind of just paint the glue on these little corner pieces here. Just get a little, you don't need a lot. Just grab a little bit of glue and just pop it in there. I'm gonna paint a little bit of glue on that piece there. Just dabbing it or brushing it, whatever method works for you. And then go ahead and get that on. All right, so that piece is on nicely. And we can go ahead and repeat that process here on the second layer, okay? So again, as you're putting this on, just kind of get a feel for the height at which this needs to be glued on. These two sides should join up nicely towards the back of the tree. Okay, so it's gonna look kind of like that. Just get a good feel for the height of this thing. Okay, and that looks pretty perfect to me. So right about there is where that needs to go. Okay, so just like I did the first time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this is my center here. So I'm gonna start with this piece here and spread that out. Let me clean off my nozzle here. It's getting kind of caked up with glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a few little dots here in the center and then a little bit of glue right there. And we're gonna get this piece into place. And that was almost disastrous. Okay, so get those little corner parts lined up nicely. And then just make sure that You've got it at the right height, at the right angle, by going around the rest of it, making sure that the rest of the pieces also kind of snap into place properly. Okay, and that looks good. Okay, so we've got the front glued, and just like we did, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back now. And Kind of unravel that. And get my glue on the remaining portion of this, just down the center. Nice little thin line of glue down the center. And then work a few little dots up these portions here, these segments here at the top. You don't need to put glue on the bottom because they're just kind of hanging off. So you don't need to put any glue on there at all. Okay, so then go ahead and wrap that around. Just making sure that you've got it at the right angle. Okay, 
And we can unwrap the rest of this here with these two segments. Get our glue right down the middle. Tiny little bits up at the tips. And just dab that a little bit. Okay, and get that in place. And it should meet up nicely right there where the two seams meet. And that is perfect. Okay, so now that we have these two sections done, we're gonna put the bottom on because when we put the little uh, the snowy portions on here, it may obstruct our ability to, um, to get this on more accurately. So um, just pick a tab, any tab, doesn't matter, and get some glue on that tab. Okay, I'm gonna spread that out to the edge there and pick a, pick a section, get it nice and aligned. Okay, and make sure it's nice and centered as well. Scooch it over if you need to. And just squeeze and get that in place. So you have a nice clean seam there. Okay, and what we're gonna do is attempt to glue the rest of these tabs in place here. We don't really have a choice. We wanna go ahead and do these all in one shot. So just make sure to get your glue on the tabs here. Get a nice generous amount on there. Don't overdo it, but let's make sure it stays nice and closed. And then work one little line out to the edge. I'm gonna spread that thin too. Get it all the way out to the edge. And then if for some reason it doesn't close completely, we can always go in and fix it. Okay, flare them out. So that as we're pushing down, grabs more of that surface area. And just kind of hold it in your hands like this and work your thumb around the perimeter, pushing down evenly and kind of occasionally nudging things if they're not lining up correctly. Okay. Continue with that pressure. Okay, I can already tell one side might need a little bit of touch up. Well, maybe not. This might be coming together nicely first time around. We'll see. I'm going to keep on kind of rotating it like this until I'm sure that that glue has set. And you know what? I think I got that. Well, almost. Spoke a little too soon, but. I got five out of six sides perfect. You can see where this is kind of sticking up a little bit. I mean, um, some people may not care. They may not even notice, but I notice. So I'm going to take my little strip of paper and just put a little bit of glue on there and just tuck it right in there in this little gap part and then just push up to clean up that little seam and make this thing nice and beautiful. Okay. So that is a perfect little bottom there. Okay. And all that's really left at this point is to get this last piece on here. It's exactly the same as what we've done before. So we're just going to glue that on just like we did. And you know when you have it at the right height because these two pieces will join together seamlessly and these corner pieces will be right on the corner correctly. It just, it helps to kind of work a few sections at a time. Okay, so anyway, that's gonna get glued on there. This part here, so remember, figure out where your front is and then you can uh, decide how you want to glue. Well, you probably want this thing facing forward as well. So what you can do is go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this. Okay, and just get that glued right to the top. Get it nice and centered and just push that down and hold it in place until it sets. Put your string through there and then 
We're gonna put some baubles on this in the form of rhinestones. Okay, let me scooch that a little bit. It's not totally centered. <clears throat> okay, so that looks cute. Very cute. Yeah, so we're gonna decorate this thing with um, some rhinestones to really make it pop even more. And as I mentioned before, I inked the bottoms of these with some turquoise um, ink. And again, just put your little cord through there and your Christmas tree is pretty much done. But don't forget to put this bottom piece on. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.